Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation on conditional probability, independent events, and multiplication rule. The topics that we cover in this series include conditional probability, sampling with and without replacement, multiplication rule for probability, independent and dependent events. And this is the second video in this series and I anticipate multiple parts for this um, and hopefully I can put up a little tag or call out that will tell you how many. We're on to example two of this series for this series and example two of our, our video and I have built some radios in my garage and I have one, two, three, four. Oops, one of them has no sound. That means I have three good radios and one bad radio for a total of four radios. The notation that we will use will be G for good radio, B for bad radio, and sometimes uh, subscripts will be used to emphasize which pick we're talking about. G with a little one down below the line is the first one. G2 or G sub 2 would be the second radio. B sub 1 would be the first radio was bad. B sub 2 would be the second radio was bad. So here is our sample space and we'll conduct two experiments. Experiment 1, select 2 at random with replacement. And experiment 2, select 2 at random without replacement. Now, what do the words with replacement and without replacement mean and how does that affect our problem? With replacement, this means you select one and then you put it back before you make the next selection. Without replacement, what does this mean? This means when you select one, you keep it out and it will not be there for your next pick. You hold it in your hand, put it behind your back, give it to your best friend. It is not part of the next selection. Find the probability that they're both good. Find the probability that they're both good. So we're going to find the same probabilities and the notation would be the same. The probability that the first is good and the probability that the second is good. First we will work with the experiment with replacement. And we'll begin by using a tree diagram to help explain what's going on. There are four ways to make the first selection. We can choose a good radio three different ways or the bad radio. Three different good radios or the bad radio. Since we're doing this experiment with replacement, whichever radio I choose is placed back into our box or pile to be selected from for our second choice. <coughs> Excuse me. No matter what you pick the first time, there are still four ways to the make the selection for four ways to make that second selection because we have done this with replacement. If we picked the first good radio, then we again have four selections to choose from four different radios that can be selected as shown here. If we pick the second good radio, we again have four choices to pick from for our second selection. If we picked the third good radio, we again have four choices for our second selection. And if we pick the bad radio, we again have four radios to make our second selection from. 
Why are there always the same number of choices for the second pick? Because we replace the radio and the sample space remains the same each time we select a radio. This gives us 16 equally likely ways to select two radios. The probability of the first radio being good and the second radio being good would be what? Well, we would look at how many ways there are to get a good and then a good. And I'll just check those off of getting two goods and that would be 9 out of the 16. And this is how you could do the problem using a tree diagram. Now we'll look at the same experiment without replacement. Again, we will find the probability by building a tree diagram. For the first selection, there are four ways that we can choose. Three good, one bad, those are our choices. Since we are doing it without replacement, we have take we will take out one of the radios after we make that selection there are only three possibilities on the second pick this is because whatever was picked the first time has not been replaced if i pick one of the good radios that leaves only two good radios and a bad radio if i pick one of the good radios that leaves the two other good radios and a bad. If I pick a third good radio, that leaves two good radios and a bad. If I pick the bad radio, that leaves three good radios. Why are these three different from the previous second pick possibilities? The second choices here, whoops, I went too far, got click happy again. The second choices here are different because by holding a radio in my hand or out of our sample space and not replacing it changes my sample space and the choices are not only different from the previous examples, but can be different from each other. This gives us 12 equally likely ways to select two. Notice we have fewer ways to do this. How many ways are there to select two good ones? That gives us 6 out of 12. And for a step later in this video, I will not simplify this fraction. Now, tree diagrams are cumbersome way to find probabilities, and with any more data than what we've done right here, they become very, very large. An easy way to figure out the previous problem, or excuse me, an easier way to figure out the previous probabilities is with the multiplication rule for probability. First, let's look at the experiment selecting two at random with replacement. To get the same answer using the multiplication rule, we'll find the probability that the first selection is good, which would be 3 out of the 4, and then multiply that by the probability that the second selection is good, which is 3 out of 4 which gives us 9 out of 16. This is the same answer we got using the tree diagram. Similarly, the multiplication rule can be used to find the probability when sampling without replacement. 
Here's our tree diagram again to remind us of our answer the first time. To get the same results using the multiplication rule, and again remember this time we're doing it without replacement, the probability of the first one being good and then the second one being good, well the probability that the first one is good is 3 out of 4. We've made a selection and we've chosen a good radio. Then we're going to multiply the probability that the second one is good. But remember, we have selected a good radio and we're holding that one out of our sample space. For the second pick, remember this is sampling without replacement. So on the second pick, one of the good radios is gone. That means we no longer have three good radios, but two, and our total has also been decreased by one. So the probability that the second selection is good is only 2 out of 3. And multiplying these numbers, 3 fourths times 2 thirds, we multiply the tops, 2 times 3, which is 6, multiply the bottoms, 4 times 3, which is 12. And again, this is the same answer we got when using the tree diagram. Thank you for watching part two of this video series on the multiplication rule of probability and on conditional probability and, um, and independent and dependent events. If you need some additional help, there are some other videos um, out there that I have done. And <clears throat> if you are a Walter State student, you are always welcome to stop by and see me in the math lab in MBSS 222. Thank you for watching.